everyone, today I'm going to be filming a home decor haul. Um, it will be featuring white, grey and green and a f well, also a plant that's also green. Um, so if you don't like these kind of videos then this won't be for you or if you don't like that colour scheme then this also won't be for you. But what I thought I would do to start off with, the reason why I'm sat in a different position is because I want to show you how my bedroom is at the moment. Um, that way you can see, well I'll show you I suppose how I'm going to incorporate these things that I've bought into my new bedroom, well not, it's not a new bedroom, into the environment. Um, so what I'll probably do is I'll show you the entire room now and then I'll do the home and I suppose if uh, maybe in the future, depends on whether anyone's actually interested in seeing the stuff out, I doubt it, I don't know. Um, I might make a video of an updated room decor in the future but I'm not too sure yet. The reason why I'm sat by the TV, well with the TV behind me rather than on the bed is because I didn't want to sit on the bed, make it look rubbish and then show you, I thought like I'd show you what it actually looks like on a normal thing when I'm not sitting on it. So. Um, I'm going to jump straight into it. So this is actually my bed. This is the layout of it. Um, so you can't actually tell in the camera but this is a very light baby blue this and this. This back pillowcase is actually white and this is a very very light pink um, and these are light grey. So. And then, as well as that, I don't know if you can see, I'll maybe zoom in on like the design. Hang on a moment. See, I don't know whether you can see, maybe you're in that darker patch there. Like, that's not in the light. Like here, you can see like the kind of patterns that are on it. So you kind of get the idea. Um, but it is the look that I'm going for is white and grey really and then green incorporated in that if I can make it go. Um, so the fact that it already looks quite white anyway I can basically get away with and then this here is just a throw. I have it folded over at the end of the bed and the other side of it is actually um, lighter as you can see there I hope. Now it's a very heavy bag. I made the mistake of purchasing, well, I, all the home decor stuff where I live, it's all upstairs. So I paid at the till upstairs and it all got put in a carry bag. So that was really difficult. But the first thing I'm going to show you is an artificial plant. Now this wasn't actually in the carry bag, obviously. So I'm just going to show it you if I can get it out. Of because... It's actually in. This is what I use for my lunch at work and I happen to have this with me. Luckily it was after work so obviously I paid for all my stuff. Um, but it actually says lunch bag and luckily it was thick enough just about for it to fit in. So. Now it is, I love it, it's in this wrapper here. And this is what it looks like. Now that actually looks really big in person. Oh no, I think like one of my leaves has snapped, maybe I'll put that bit at the back. Okay so anyway this is the uh, the artificial plant, it's in this beautiful like grey uh, ceramic kind of, um, what's the word, ceramic vase thing and all around the outside is like you can't tell in the camera it looks kind of silver but in some lights you can kind of see that it is actually gold um so yeah um and yeah so that is actually to go by the side of the bed here 
Now, I'm hoping that all of this works out exactly how I want it to because I have a funny feeling that as soon as I put this on there it's going to kind of mess up the whole ensemble that I've already got going on so hopefully that goes nicely okay so as you already saw at the foot of my bed is like a quilted throw uh, and it is quite big I will admit it's like it's about this, it covers the entire top of the bed but it wouldn't go down the sides. It's actually for a single bed but because our bed is against the wall we can't have a double bed spread because it won't fit down the other side so it's just all over the floor, it just doesn't work. But for days where you would much prefer it to be cosy, I have bought a fluffy throw um, and everyone knows what a fluffy throw is like. It's I believe yeah 130 centimeters by 150 so it's not massive because the old one we used to have was 200 by 200 we've still got it but it's like a brownie color whereas this is just a lot nicer in the camera it looks kind of brown actually it's really not can you see when I put it further away I'm hoping so um, and I kind of messed that up because I was carrying it right dodgily I think that was in a square when I started okay I think what I'll do is I'll show you the stuff that I got for the bed and then show you everything else. So, if all goes to plan. Now I don't think you're going to be able to see the detail on this in the camera and I'm hoping you are, but it is a bedding set. In here you get the bedding and you get the two pillowcases with it uh, and believe that they are Oxford pillows, I hope so. Doesn't actually say, but I'm really hoping so because I like Oxford pillows. Um, but I don't know whether you can see, it's not just white, it's kind of like, there you go, it's like got these little things on. Um, and the reason why I actually bought this was, focus, the reason why I actually bought this is it was on the beds in the store. Now they had this and a very light grey, but I'm going for the white look anyway, and I've already got a grey bed set anyway so I went for this and as well as that I already have like a grey sheet like f to fit to the bed so I just bought two grey pillowcases they look I don't know whether you can see the proper colour of them in the camera but I just got two of those to go with the white bedding just so we've got a bit of contrast and I've already got the base sheet as I've already said so and that will also go with the grey throw and then the other thing I got, now I've already showed you the jewellery box that I've got over there and what I was actually thinking was, what I was actually thinking was, now that I've actually interpreted, interpreted? Integrated, I don't know. As I've integrated green into the colour scheme by this plant and the fake plants that are over there, they're all white but they've got like a green stem so it's not very grey but a bit of grey. Um, so, what I've actually bought is two jewellery boxes, so this is the first one. Um, and they're not massive, they've got a nice little chain there so it actually stands up when you're looking at it. Um, and that's just, there's no compartments or anything like that so I don't know whether I'm going to keep these. I hope that like it fits everything in, in the way that I want it to be fitted in and then to go on top is another little one and this would be for my day to day stuff so the stuff that I pick out every day which is this watch and this Pandora sometimes a necklace as well I don't know whether I'll put a necklace in there because it's not an everyday thing but what I was hoping was where the jewellery box is over there rather than having that one I would just have these two on top of each other what's good about the, the bottoms of them they have like these little rubber things here so when I put it on top it's not going like slide all over the show because these are they have a glass effect but they're not glass um, and this just looks really pretty but I am worried that we've got oak furniture grey bedding and white bedding and all that kind of stuff that goes grey and white goes and grey and white goes with almost everything but I am worried that the green maybe will clash with the oak I really need someone's expert opinion because I'm not great on colour schemes but 
I don't think I've done too bad and I'd also like to point out that the wall that was behind the uh, TV that you saw, that flowery wallpaper, that isn't wallpaper that we've put in, that isn't something that I choose, no offence to anyone that would, like everyone loves a feature wall and I know that that's like, that's a thing now, like having a feature wall but I've never had that and I think for me it's just a little bit, I mean this one, this one's quite dark and I think that's the whole point of them to be honest, so I'm not sure on the whole feature wall situation to be honest let me know your thoughts in the comments down below do you have a feature wall what are your color schemes and please let me know as soon as possible if green will not go with my oak or whatever like especially this green this is like this isn't plant green this is like sea green i hope that makes sense but i'm hoping it goes because it's really pretty so yeah um, and I also need to sort out my DVD case down there. I don't think I actually showed it yet because all the DVDs are out. Like, it looks a bit of a mess. So, that is that. Um, I think that's everything for this video. I've shown you everything as the room already was. You can probably tell it is quite a small room. I don't know whether you got the feel of that. And I've also showed you um, everything that I've bought now so hopefully it all goes in the in this room and I actually find like the right places because I'm scared that when I put this plant here the key box thing won't it just won't fit right I'm, I'm just a bit worried that like it won't look very good so we'll have to see how that goes as well so anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you know anything about colour schemes or you want to share your colour schemes then please comment below because I'd love to see what you guys are doing and if you want to see future videos I make future videos every single week then subscribe and I'll see you in the next one guys bye